everybody. Good morning. How is everyone doing today? Oh my chat. I'm good. Y'all are. How is everyone doing today? Yeah, let me mute myself. There we go. Okay. Pop out chat. Hey, Eddie. Eddie's here. Good morning, Eddie. Dun, 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 dun. Makes my day to see everybody. I know. It's so good to see y'all in the morning. Start the day off right. Good morning, Dolores. Good morning, Dolores. I've been looking for my craft books. I haven't found them yet, but I, I'm not going to give up. I have a couple right here. I mean, I'm going to go through my book boxes today, so we'll Yay. see what we run across. Go through them a little bit. I have thousands of books. Yeah. Take me a minute. And so next week, we're going to be trying to alternate channels to where one day we're on mine and one day we're on Teresa's. Um, so make sure hopefully <laughs> subscribe to Teresa. Let me pull up her. Oh, it should be in the Thank description. You. And hit that notification bell. Sarah. If you don't, you won't find us. And we love y'all and we want y'all to find us. Okay. Now it's saying not found. Huh? I'm so tech savvy, you guys. I hope y'all forgive me. My allergies is so bad this morning. I'm just, I showed up. That's about it. <laughs> it took me some medicine, maybe to kick in. Here is the link to Teresa's channel. So make sure y'all go over there and subscribe. Yes, Eddie. I Did you see what you. Eddie wrote? Yes. That counts as washing dishes, Eddie. That's a good point for you. Yay. That's really the most dishes I have is coffee cups, honestly. Good morning, Fairy. So that counts. Fairy, are Good you morning. confusing my wedding cake stand with Teresa's? The white, were you thinking of the white cake stand? Because that one I build you for, so maybe you're confusing us. Or maybe we're confusing something else. We don't know. Yeah, but I'm I'm searching. I can't figure it out, but I won't give up till we do. Because I like went back and looked, and I saw I got you for that, so I'm just making sure. Just making and sure. And okay. I want to make sure I get okay. you everything you wanted. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. Oh, I love this little fairy. Good morning. That's my cousin. Oh, she's pretty. She's and gorgeous. Don't tell her I said that, though. <laughs> uh -huh. She knows she's gorgeous? No, she don't know it, but she is. She yeah. Yeah. I love that background. How did she do that? I'm not going to put you big on the screen and embarrass you, but I kind of like your picture. Good morning, Jonathan. How are you doing today? Good morning, Jonathan. Jonathan's going to be um, starting a channel up too pretty soon. So you guys should go and check him out and follow him. Wait. wait. And uh, is he going to specialize in jewelry? I'm not we sure. We don't know yet. He's going to like, con that's going to be his concentration in the beginning. And then I think maybe he'll branch out. But he's doing it right. Like he's getting everything ready. He's got all the tools. Good. And Okay. Unlike me, who is like, start before you're ready. Let's do it. You know. <laughs> Just gotta Good go morning, there. Christy. Christy's such a sweetheart. Okay, let's see. Let's get going. Um, I think I went first last time. You always say that. You go first. I think you, you. I think I always go first. But you always say that. <laughs> Yes, it was lucid. Okay, she found <laughs> it. Okay, good. Good, fairy. Woo. I went back and watched like Ooh, yeah. four or five of our streams. And then this other I did too. Nancy told me to watch it at 
double the speed and I was like, oh my God, why did I never think of that? So you don't have to sit there and keep scrolling through and finding. <laughs> so she taught me. All right. I have these um, really cool vintage playing cards and they're by Kent and they are all plastic and it's like a nature scene on them. And I'm going to start these at $5. They are the plastic cards. I think those are supposed to be better than the ones that aren't. They've been opened before. Um, I have a little plastic case with the gold bottom. And if the case used to have hinges, it's not there anymore. So that's that. I use Photolab app. Okay, I'm going to have to get that for sure. That could help. Five dollars starting big cards. Photo lab. I'm gonna write that down. And then I have a cute little um, French bulldog spoon rest. And I'm gonna take him out of his little box. I think that's what he is. And he is gonna be a four dollar start. You could even oh, use him as a drink dish if. Maybe that's what he was meant for. Well, let me see what the box says. Ceramic. It all it says is ceramic. <laughs> so he's a four dollar. I love sweater. it. Me too. I like his little sweater. I've always wanted one of these dogs, but they're pretty um expensive. Four dollars starting bid. Dog plate. And I'm awake today. Okay. So that's my two. If anybody's interested in these. In, in any of these guys, just let me know in the chat. Thank you very much. And Christy, I'm sorry you have a headache or had one. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to start off with a vintage table butler. And if you don't know what that was, the little butler went around, or the maid, to the table and took all the scraps, took sometimes ashes, different things, and put it in here and then close the lid so, you know, it, it looked fancy. This is an original one. does have the markings on the back. I'll show you the little symbols and stuff better. I am asking too for it. I don't know if you can see the symbols. It's a really good thing. It is a hammered metal look. does have um, a floral design on it. It does have the fancy little handles with the little leaf and stuff on it and it uh, it opens like this you just push this little thing and it opens you can see it's in very good condition it almost looks new and butler didn't use it a whole lot maybe <laughs> you can see the 505 and the different the name and all on it again it is a table butler vintage twenty dollars wow and it, that does leave room to sell it if you're a reseller because they do go pretty good. All right, and I have decided since I have thousands of books that I'm going to throw a book in here and there. This is God's Vitamin C for the Spirit of a Woman. All my books are going to be a dollar. It is like new. Does have the label on the back to scan? It's 100% um, pure, all natural. God's Vitamin C. I thought that was kind of a catchy little name. That's cute. And it's one dollar. Yeah. I mean, it'd be pretty even on the table, the pink and the teal colors that everybody loves. Have the book. Hey, Pat, or the table butler. Thank you. Good morning to everybody. All right. That table butler's cool. I used to work in fine dining, and I've never seen that kind. All right, um, first up, I got this little teapot, and it's um, a salt and pepper shaker. He's got his original cork. He's got something going on inside. Um, I think he used to have a handle or something like that, but the pepper or the salt or your all-purpose seasoning or whatever you want to put in there. Um, and then he's probably... I was going to say red wear by the way he's painted, but look at his feet aren't quite red wear. I have another piece I'll show you to demonstrate that. Anyway, 
that's going to be a three dollar start it's just a single shaker if anybody's got a collection of shakers fine bitch shaker okay i'm so good at typing no 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 okay okay and then i have happy birthday moon by frank ash and it's one dollar yeah, I wish. Maybe some, maybe a diamond. It's, whatever's in there is about that size. Oh, thank you, Sugar Plum. One dollar. Starting bid. I loved these books as a kid growing up, but it was like Good Night Moon is the only one I remember. Happy PJ Moon. Okay. So I see Fairy for the Shaker. Thank you very much, Fairy. And if y'all decide on a book, let me know in the chat. And here is Teresa. Oh my God, my hair. Oh, that's my bun. I thought it was the top of my head. <laughs> Congratulations, Fairy. Okay. It's a 13 piece cookie gun set for making cookies. It is new in box. Um, it still has the plastic and all that. They go for 17 and up online. And I'm asking seven for it does leave you room to resell it. It does stickers and stuff still on it. And the UPC. And again, it is new in the package. I don't want to take it all out of here. See? I might not never get it back in there for you. I'll show you what it looks like. With all these little pieces with it. <clears throat> Pillsbury. Um, I know there's several of the YouTube um, people that talk about how much they sell them for all the time. Like, they can't keep them on their shelves for selling them. So, again, be a good resale. For $1, I have Descendants. It's a hardback book. Normally sells for $12. It is in very good condition. Let's see. And it is Descendants. One dollar for the book or seven for the cookie. Shooter, I think is what they call it. The gun set, but I think they call them shooters, cookie shooters. I wrote cookie box. <laughs> I fixed it. It's okay. Thank you. I really like that cookie uh, maker. Because like uh, I don't like doing them by hand. <laughs> All right, I have this beautiful old flower shaker. Where's your price tag just fell off? Oh, Dollar Tree. Okay, and it's got a little top like that. I think it would be for powder. It's very fancy and ornate. It's got a lot of gold gilding around it. And Moriyagi, these raised little pieces all over it. There's the rim. It's basically the same pattern all the way around. It somehow doesn't have any damage after all these years. It's marked 7185. It's got an old timey sticker and it's like a tongue and groove thing. So there's the top, which that's not the right term, but you know, words are hard. And you just twist it and you do like this and you put your powder on your vanity set or whatever else you think might could fall out of there, you could use it for. This is going to be a $13 starting bid. It's a really old piece. Great vanity um, tray item. Vanity powder shaker. And I picked this up at flea market. It's really cute. Well, they call it the flea market. It's like the antique store. All right. And then I have... Um, this is called Thornton the Warrior, and it's got a lot of cool illustrations, and it is also a dollar. There's like a hippopotamus and a mole and a rabbit. To be honest, I did not read the story, but, you know, the pictures are really nice. I just love hippos. I think that's why I like this. So I have that for a dollar, so if you're interested in... Thornton the Warrior, there he is. And if you get a big old box of books, we'll just ship them media mail and it'll be, you know, pretty easy. Starting bid. Ah. 
sword thing. The warrior. Warrior, not warrior. Okay. That's my two. And here's Therese. Welcome everyone coming in the chat. Thank you for coming in today. I have a vintage wooden candlestick. I only have one that I could find. So I have it for one dollar. It does still have the felt all real in real good shape. But if you just had one candle that you wanted to put in the middle of an arrangement, this would be good. It is vintage. Again, one dollar. Then which of us hasn't wondered now what where did I put it and what am I here for? The senior, my favorite senior moments, funny side of the street, it says, and it does have things like, what did I come here to buy? Oops, I thought you said, now where did I put it? And it's a good humor and embracing good humor in this book, and it is new, like brand new. It's like brand new. And again, $1 for the senior moments, my favorite senior moments, which I have quite a few, are $1 for the wooden vintage candlestick holder thank you okay i have this really old creamer it's a really old style pottery technique i do believe it's from somewhere where people speak spanish so i don't know it looks like it says pagora or pagora and I believe it was somebody's like estate. So it says Rob Bayolo, and then it's like Maison de Candido. So I think it was Candido's house and they named it Rob Bayolo. And it's gonna be a $8 start if anybody's interested or likes to collect really old pottery. You know, it's got some rough spots, but no chips or anything like that. And you can see that it's sad. It flatten that kiln. They didn't put it on nothing. <laughs> you can see where it's stuck. And then I have um, this book and it's called The Witches from Salem 1962. Um, it is got this map and I never read it but it's about I'm assuming Salem, Massachusetts and the trials of the people they thought were witches and so this is a dollar and if anybody's interested just let us know in the chat i feel you gritty grit <laughs> next i have a milk glass i do believe it's, it's this is fenton i do believe i could be wrong about that I don't think about it anyway it's ten dollars it's the milk glass hat it would be really good for the 4th of July, red, white, and blue decor. I know if someone had asked me, did I have one? But I don't remember who it was. It's in good shape. No chips, cracks, breaks. Again, it is a little top hat. You can turn it over like this and stack something on it if you would like. You can, you know, even display it with, like this. Or you can put something in it. Okay, again, that's 10. Then I have... Um, this says, when the big Amaryllis was swallowed in a hurricane, the captain and all the crew were swallowed up too. And it's $1. So it sounds like it would be not fun to, a hurricane's not fun, but maybe fun read. <laughs> Again, you put it on eBay. Books do sell well on eBay. It just takes sitting down and listing. And I got to where it's not my favorite thing to do. So the book for a dollar or the top hat for 10. Thank you. I hope somebody buys that hat so I don't do it. Y'all, I need my money. <laughs> That's a great deal. <laughs> for the 4th of July, you get a red, white, and blue one. Oh my God. Okay. This is another single this shaker. Is another single shaker. I'm going to try to fix the echo. It's my computer. My computer has bad speakers, so I just had to put her on mute for a second. And it's got a little man, and he's fishing with bamboo. And he's got a little dog. And there's a top. And he's got a little chip on the back right here, but it is a really old piece. Um, 
and it's got the rubber cork in it and it's going to be a five dollar start it's a kind of a bigger shaker if you collect um salt and pepper shakers and it is a single also good all-purpose seasoning five dollar starting bid um it looks like japan it could be made in america and to look like japan but that's just what i got right there and i also have an avalanche happening but anyway okay that's my neighbor here is a golden hands crafting book or magazine it was the first copy this is part one and two volume one and it's in 75 weekly parts it was originally 95 cents but they do have a lot of patterns and then different things hey cash and this is going to be a dollar start it's just like a paper paper book and it is called Golden Hands Knitting, Dressmaking, and Needlecraft Guide. One dollar starting bid. Craft book. Okay, my dog might be out. Let me go check on that. I'm gonna put Teresa up. Not my dog, but my dog's in my house. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> For three dollars, I have a. I believe it's maybe cross stitch. I do believe grandmas are happiness. You can hug. How true is that? If this is a, a plasticky vintage type um, frame. I don't believe that it is vintage. It does say made in China, but it does look like it's vintage. Again, that is a cross stitch. Be very pretty if you need to give your grandmother a present, or if you are a grandmother. Either way, three dollars on the cross stitch. Then I have for one dollar Jesus of Salvation, and it talks about the way, the way of salvation. One dollar, and it it looks like it's in very good condition too. Okay. I have for three dollars the frame or one dollar the book. Let's look at it in a minute while she's coming back in. I don't know. I'm trying to get the glare off, so I'm holding it sideways. I don't know if it's working out. It does have the the laser part. Put it up, stand it up, or you can hang it on the wall. It does have a place to hang it on the wall. Dolores, I'll tell her that you want the uh, craft book, right? Thank you. We appreciate it. Oh, one more thing. This is a little dollar. I thing. it does have the thing that's holding it up to, to stand it up to. A little easel thing. Just a little love sign. One dollar. It's very glittery. Who don't like glitter? <laughs> A lot of people don't because it gets everywhere, but I, I like it. So I had the grandma for three. This for a dollar. I had a book for a dollar. If Dolores wants your um, craft book. And Pat, let me know which one you wanted. The little love sign for a dollar or the book for a dollar? This was three. The picture of the grandma. Just clarify that since I was rambling and not paying attention. Okay. Um, Bill escaped. That's where he was. Bruno was inside but bill he was running okay this is a really pretty plate it's very texturized um it's got some 
like hand painted elements on it. It is not for food use because your paint may poison your food. So it's by Andrea by Sadiq. And I don't know if y'all are familiar with her, but some of her stuff is pretty popular. It's going to be $10. Really decorative, ornate plates. And I had my measuring tape, but it disappeared. But it is a good size plate. And so there's its texture and stuff. If you're interested in that. And then I also have what's next? Okay. For a dollar, the Wizard of Oz. It is very illustrated. Um, they have really cool pictures. Ah. I know I'm sitting in a bad angle today. Um, there's the flying monkeys, if you guys remember that part. And I don't know, it's it's just really cool looking. Um, the old Tin Man and Scarecrow and everybody. And it's just one dollar. It still has its jacket. It's in good shape. Hey, Triple J. Ten dollars starting bid plate. One dollar starting bid. Wizard of Oz. Okay. That's my clue. If y'all are interested, just let me know in the chat. And here's Teresa. Would help if I had some sound, wouldn't it? For one dollar, <laughs> let's start over. I have this angel pen. It is still in its package. There's a little saying here. It's very pretty. I don't know if I'm showing how pretty it is. Okay. And for one dollar, I have an oil painting book. It is a hardback. It is blue if you're doing the red, white, and blue. It has, the cover has been loved. <laughs> but it is about oil paintings. I'm not artsy at all. But it does have a lot of illustrations. And the, it's blue without the cover. Cover's pretty, but it's been loved. It's a little bit rough around the edges. Just really in that one spot right there. The rest of it's pretty much together. And it's one dollar oil painting book, or one dollar for the little pretty little angel pen. That's my two. Thank you. Words are hard and so is typing. That is a beautiful angel pen. Okay, so I see Eddie is in for five on the Oz book and Sugar Plum's out. So I got you for that, Eddie. And I got you for the crafting book as well. Not Eddie, it was Dolores. Okay. Thank you guys. And so next up I have a pair of wall hanging plates. They're decorative, they're beautiful. You know, they have a little wear from the plate hangers and I guess being moved around. But they're gonna be two for 15. So here's what the two looks like. It's two different birds. They do have their hangers. It's the Songbird Collection, Andrea by Sadiq. And then the copyright is Elizabeth Gold's Rush. And there's one little bird, and he's looking behind him at a butterfly. And the hanger's fairly new, it looks like, but they didn't put the rubber bumpers on there. And there we go. It still has its barcode on there. And then it's very raised and texturized. And then this is the other bird. And he's just staring at you directly with his little eye. And it also has a plate hanger. This one, like right there, you can see where the plate hanger went crooked and rubbed it away. But it's not rough at all. 
and it's not a chip. And so it's the same on the back. And again, that's two for 15, the bird wall hanging plates. Good morning, Maury. Good to see you. Maury, I got you something and Good morning. she has it in the box for you. Just so you know, a surprise. Okay, so that's two for 15. You do. Good morning, Maury. Okay. And then my book is going to be... Oh, where are you? There we go. Got some old ones. Panda Cake. Words and Pictures by Rosalie Seidler. And it's from the Weekly Readers Children's Book Club. And hey, junk to be loved. It's going to be a dollar start. It does have some condition issues on the back cover. Like it's got some smudging and a little bit of like maybe a dog bit it one time. You see that? Like teeth marks. And here is our mod, Christy. All her links are down below. Check out. Her hey, online. Christy. And this says it's copyright 1978. This I'm not sure if it's the year it was printed, but it's got some adorable, like, black and white little sketches of a panda doing some crazy things, and little birds, animals, and stuff like that. One dollar for panda cake, and that is my two. There is Teresa. I have this beautiful little lady which y'all know i do love but i have so many she is quilting she is a joseph original it's written on the bottom i don't know if you can to see it or not i have can you see that mm. i have ten dollars right oh uh, what year is that from or do you know i don't, I don't know i do know there is a way to tell if First ones or the next ones? I, I don't know. It says Joseph and it's J O S E F originals. And I do know there is a way with the spelling to tell. It has Q C 9 on it. I don't know. And, uh, and she's quilting or embroidering. She has her little needle. And I think this may be an 11 on the front. Um, I can tell you that's worth it. For just $10 because I have one. I sold them on eBay. <laughs> it's worth it. She's That's in perfect condition. See, she doesn't have any paint loss or anything. She's got a little needle still in her hand. A lot of times they lose whatever's in their hands. She's got her little That's embroidery and hoop. That is really cute. Uh, the one I had was a, it was for February. It was a Valentine's, but it was from like the 50s. It was. <clears throat> I have, I have a lot of them, but this one in particular, I wasn't that particular. So I have $10 on her. And I have a little Lego Space Hero Space Justice for $1 little book. And it, it kind of resembles kind of a, a comic book read to me the way it looks. Let me show you. And it looks comic booky to me. A little spaceship in it and all. It is a Lego superhero space justice. Oh, it does say DC Comics up there. Duh. One dollar for the book. Ten for the little girl. What was the angel? And I was trying to spell Joseph, but didn't get it right. It's it's okay, J O S E F. Oh, I, I do know it that the story behind it goes. It's okay that the story behind it goes that they made a mistake on their spelling and then they hung with it. I've heard you know the different people tell that. Well, uh, Angel for ten says Dolores, and Lego Cherry wants the Lego for dollars. Okay. Oh, Dolores and, wants the little girl. Okay, thank y'all. Okay, thank you. 
be sure y'all send me your information in it to the um, it's right here the email the gmail address and then send me your name your street address your paypal address you send all that to me thank you y'all so much I That's do right. also need all your information, guys. And here is Teresa's channel. Be sure you subscribe to that. We will be doing a sale over there on Monday. Um, we're going to alternate days. And we have a special guest on with us Tuesday. So that's exciting. I've never sold with her before, but I think you guys will like her. She isn't, she is a, you know, known reseller. She does ship and, She's honest and she's a good lady. And this is an older book. It's called This is the House Where Jack Lives by Joan Hellbroner. And it's illustrated. And it's one of the weekly reader books. It says it was. That's what the like pictures look like. They're very old school. Um, and it is, the pictures are copyright 1962 and the text as well, 1962. And it's a really easy read for like a younger child who's just starting out. It's just a couple of lines on each page. And again, it's a very vintage book. Very cool. There's that. And then I also have this beautiful um, brass How much was the start on the book? All my books are going to be a dollar today, Christy, a dollar start. And, um, okay, here is a um, brass tin, and it's got the bird on it, and he's on a tree with some flowers. It's got some designs on the front there, and it has a little marking right here. It's a $15 start. It does have the dividers inside the tin. So you could use it for a lot of different things. It's it's gorgeous. And that's my two. So if anybody's interested in my $15 tin box or my um, book, just let me know in the chat. And I thank y'all. And here's Teresa. Oh. You're muted, hon. You would there think you that that would register, but that's another one of them senior moments. It takes a while. And for two dollars, for two dollars, I have a clear little stand. It has some little, you know, footed where it'll stand up like this. You could put stones or a candle. I guess it was originally a candle holder, but um, it's about. Uh, six or seven inches across. I don't know what I've done with my. Oh, there it is. Again, a senior moment. About seven and a half. So it would, you know, it's a little stand for whatever you want to put on it. You could put the little girl on it. You could put stones on it, a candle. Two dollars. And then for one do dollar, I have a year long mother daughter journey um, for a purpose for a living. It's called A Voice Becoming. I think the book cover is gorgeous. And the book itself is white. For decor. I had a blue one earlier, so you got blue, white and blue so far. This is the back. And it is a journey uh, of a uh, mother and daughter's journey. That's for one dollar. So, um, Maury wants the the stand? Okay, Moy, gotcha. Thank you. Okay, my next item is pretty cool. It's some um, swizzle sticks. Um, they're vintage. There's 11 of them. There's one that has got a chip on its glass at the top. The rest are in great condition. They have some sort of clear something that they can pour in there and it hardens. So it looks like they're little drinks on the top. Um, so I'm going to do these at $20 start. Um, vintage barware goes for a lot. So you could break these up individually and probably sell them for quite a bit. I used to, I still sell my old 
plastic ones with like the whole hotel names on top. I've sold them for fifty dollars a piece on eBay. I don't know why people like them, but they do. What do you use them for exactly? To stir your drinks, cocktails. Um, you know how they like put umbrellas and drinks and stuff like that. It's kind of like a decorative barware cocktail stir. So there's eleven of those. And that's going to be 20. And then for $8, I still have this. Oh, I wanted to do a book, but that's okay. For $8, I have this wonderful um, candle holder. It is by Fostoria Glass. Well, it's, yeah, by Fostoria Glass. And it's made for Avon, which is all stated on the sticker on the inside. And... It's got hearts around the top for the candle holder. I keep the price tags fall off. And it's very texturized. And then you can flip it over and it is a vase. Teresa taught me about that. I had no idea. I just thought it was a candle holder. But that was like the gimmick for this one. So the hearts face up when you have it for a vase at the top. And they face up at the top when you have it for the candlestick. And that's going to be an $8 start. Fostoria is F-O-S-T-O-R-I-A. And again, it was exclusively produced for Avon. So if anybody's interested in that, let me know. And here's Teresa. Um, you got a question. How many pieces in total? Oh, the um, swizzle sticks is 21 cocktail stirs. No, okay. 11. What am if I you, saying? There's 11. There's 11. <laughs> it's what Christy said. You, am I supposed yeah. to let it go see the question? I didn't see it either. Okay. Um, so I have a book on uh, different ways to fix meat. One dollar. It's a little practical meat dishes. It is a hardback book. It is in very good condition. If you like meat, you have lots of recipes. Okay, and next I have very vintage ashtray. You don't have to use it for an ashtray. It is footed. It, I chipped it last night. It was in perfect condition. Was the book a dollar? So I marked it to seven dollars. Yes, Chris. I'm sorry. All my books are a dollar. We're doing dollar book this day. This is, yeah, dollar book day. Made in the USA. What you could do is you could paint it because I barely just scuffed it right there. See, it's not the show on the top. It's just right there. This thing done lived for 60 years and I got a hold of it. But it is, so I marked it to seven. That's beautiful. You see, I want the. I got you for the clear stand. Does that know what you wanted, Maury? Was it? The mother. Mother saw. Did you have something to do with the mom? No, daughter the book. Mother daughter book. She wanted the mother daughter oh, book. Oh, the mother daughter book. No, I did not. But thank you. I'll write you down for it. Thank you, Maury. Thank you. Okay, seven dollars for this. You can use it to hold paint brushes. You can use it to use makeup brushes. Your keys at the front door, whatever you would like to, to for it to hold. It does have the made in USA. It does have the little feet on it. And seven dollars. It is that nineteen seventy orange uh, splatter paint stuff we had back then. Okay, it does have the little feet on it. Um. Maury also, I think, wanted the, was it the clear glass for, stand? I have her for yeah. that. I, I have her for the clear $2 stand and the $1 um, mother-daughter book. Is that right? Okay, you're good, yeah. Okay, thank you. Again, seven or one. Thank you. 
Those ashtrays are like super hot right now. The mid-century ones. I like that a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay. I have a little fairy lamp today. And it has flowers on it. And vines. And let me take it off its stand. Maybe you can see, see the pattern a little bit better. It's going to be a $30 start. That's where I start all my fairy lamps at. Because I know... I can get at least that plus more elsewhere and I, you know, trying to pay the bills. There's the top and then we have the base and you just put your tea light in the center and you sit the shade on top and there's the little opening and it's cute and adorable and Maury's already in at 30 because we know Maury loves the fairy lamps. And some restaurants have those on tables, the fancy schmancy restaurants there. Really? That is gorgeous. Ooh, yeah, I'm so pissed about that. That was the candle on the table of the fancy restaurant. They use fairy lamps and stuff like that. Uh, we used to use um, like candle votives. But I wish we would have used fairy lamps. That would have been cool. Like on Frasier, they use fairy lamps because they were in Seattle. They you have any other interest? Looks like Moore's the only one in for the fairy lamp. So I'm going. With, we can start calling it to Maury. I never watched Frasier. That was one of the ones that I never really watched, and I never got into the show Friends. Nobody come come for me, but I know, I know. I like Frasier's kind of. I like his humor. He stuck up and he paid for it in the episode you know it's funny right so this is um yeah i remember that was like around like a little bit after tears i think frazier came out so this is the babysitter's club little sister number four it says we love cats and they're all holding and petting a cat this was my book as a kid it says Karen's best friend Hanny just got a new kitten. Now all her friends have cats, and Karen has a great idea. She can start a club like her big sister Christy. It'll be the Kitty Cat Club. And then it goes on to tell you a little bit more about the book. But like the pages are starting to get yellow because I'm that old now. Um, that's funny. They have a picture that's upside down. That's really weird. Okay. And Maybe they don't say it yeah and then uh let me see when it was made copyright 1989 so i was seven two years old when this book came out for jennifer esty a big sister it says and that's just a dollar and that's the two here's Teresa. i have one dollar pampered chef cookbook it has all kind of recipes for from Pamp Pampered Chef. Okay, that's then I have this very heavy ceramic on wood bear and cubs. I have five dollars on it. It is on like they're in the water and there's they're catching a fish, and it it is very heavy. When I first picked it up, it's lead, but it's ceramic. It doesn't have any damages that I can see at all to it. The man cave, Father's Day, kind of cabin. You have a little cabin or something you like to go to. I don't know if you can also, see the fish. The fish is. It's also kind of mama bear, you know, like the mama bear type thing, too. True, true. It's got like the little fish jumping out of the water. Okay, Sue wants the pamper chef. Yes. Yes. Sue, I don't believe I have your info. If you wouldn't mind sending it to me and I can get your invoice to you. And if you already did, don't mind me. And again, this is five dollars. Just have a little bit of roughness on the bottom. And I, I do believe it was like Korea, if I remember. Made in Korea. So it's older. Yeah. You can tell by the heaviness of it, too, that it is. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to have a little wipe down of it, too. Okay, that's my two. Thank you. I think it's heavy. 
<laughs> we got my mom one very similar um, for Mother's Day one year. She loved bears, and it was fishing too with the cubs. Okay. So next up, I have this McCoy piece. And it's got the ivy and the vine handle. And it says McCoy. Um, it's embossed on the bottom. And I was asking 13. But today for you, special price, $10. Oh, no, Sue, I'm sorry. I know a lot of people are getting sick from that, and I know Nancy goes today, and I'm really worried about her. Her tongue swelled up last time. Um, my sister-in-law's uh, therapist, uh -huh. she, she was fine with first shot. Second shot put her in bed for a couple of days, but she was okay. She was fine. <laughs> that second yeah. shot. Yeah. I think um, Nancy must be allergic to something in it if her tongue swell up like that. Um, and this is a dollar again. All my books are a dollar. It's called Freedom's Challenge, and it's by Anne McCaffrey. I have a lot of her books. Um, and it's like a sci-fi book. And it's got its sleeve. And it's like, uh, I don't know, just fantasy. You know, sci-fi fantasy type novel. And there's a little author's picture. And basically, as you can see, there's a crashed spaceship on an island with little houses and stuff. And that's my two. Thank you. Here's Teresa. I have a novel that is in very good condition. Names of Rome. See a very pretty cover on it. The actual book is a pretty green too. And there's so many people's liking to stack them up and use them for decor, stack things on them. Of course, I don't mess the cover up. It's in perfect condition. There we go. Okay. Next, I have some ephemera. I'm gonna, and it's gonna be a total of five dollars. I have some wrapping paper in the package. It, it does look like it was opened. I don't know if it's been used or not. It is a floral print. Then I have two packs of napkins. The napkins have 239 on them. One is a 50th birthday. I know people are doing, you know, like a decoupage with the napkins and stuff. I have another pack that's got bun rabbits on it, but you might do something with that. Maybe even parts of it. Then I have a small and a large, the doilies. And I know what made me think about it, I had these. Um, Cha-Cha mentioned last night that she does stuff with this decoupage with these. So that is five items, five dollars. All come together in your package if you're interested in ephemera. That are the dollar book. And that's my thing. Thank you. All right. And, oh, I messed up my screen. Okay, there I am. Next, I have this awesome blown, well, I don't know if it's blown glass, but probably. Maybe not. He's a glass swizzle stick, and he's got an elephant on top, and he's gorgeous. And there's his little nose and his ears. And I know me and Eddie wish he was red, but he is glass, and it is $10. And he's cute. Can't imagine turning 50. I'm kind of dreading 40. And I got a little bit of time, but, you know. Next, I have George Orwell's Animal Farm. This is a classic. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. We were required to read it in school, and it was actually a pretty good book. So, again, Animal Farm by George Orwell, $1, and it's Signet Classics book, and it's got its little barcode if you want to upload it and sell it or whatever. 
and I'll just type the name of that book, Animal Farm Book Starting Bid One Dollar. Okay, and that's my cube. So here's Teresa. You're muted, hon. I'm sorry. It takes so long to get used to. <laughs> I had it on my mind and I forgot it. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm I was the queen of that. Crazy. Don't apologize. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking with Regis and Kathy Lee. <gasps> now you going? Cookbook. Does have some story times in here with them too. As they cook. Has a few little stories with them. It's in very good condition. Regular $9.95, but I, I'm sure that the copyrights it was probably maybe the eighties or nineties, let me see. Looks like nineties, I think. Yeah, I, I think it may be nine. I'm guessing nineties too. Let's see. Ninety-three. That's one dollar. Then I have this restaurant ware for three dollars. It's a platter. Kind of an oval shape. It's the Dell Co brand. It is a heavy duty. It does have a few utensil marks in it. A few. Which could probably be cleaned out. So I have Cooking with Regis at the restaurant. Oh, I have Eddie for Cooking with Regis. Okay. I believe so. Thank you. All right. And restaurant wear, guys, that stuff's good. She's giving it away. <laughs> there we Room go. For And next up, I have a Fenton Bell. And I had it at 12. I marked it. Oh, no, I had it at 13. I marked it down to $8, which I think is a great deal. It is a really old, much older piece of Fenton. It's got a beautiful flower that was hand painted on there. And it's signed by the artist Lisa G. And let me take this sticker. And then it's got. The really old Fenton sticker on the inside with the person at the table working. And so that's going to be an $8 start. $8 start. Mm -hmm. Big Fenton. So, okay. And then I have this, this book. And I remember really liking it as a teen. It was a, like a spooky, spine-chilling tale of mystery and murder. And it's called The Man Who Was Poe. And it's I just remember really liking it. And I honestly can't remember what it was about. I was probably in middle school um, when I read it. This one has somebody's name written in the front. Shelby Primo. We're from Louisiana. It has an X at the end. So... Whoa, guys. It says Avon Books Incorporated. I did not know... It's probably not related, but um, the first printing was in July of 1977. Oh, I don't know. That's different printing companies. But anyway, the copyright's 1989. It's $1, the man who was Poe. Thank you, Kaz. I see you for the bell. And it is a $1 start. And again, like, adults can read it, too. I still enjoy teen books. They're, um, you know less drug out heather's in for one for the man who was poe thank you very much heather so i've got kaz for the bell heather for the book and here is teresa how are you doing today heather I have some dominoes in a tin can now people decorate with them it is missing three dominoes i believe I have it for three dollars they are the colorful I don't know what a domino looks like, but they would be pretty in a jar. Or if you want to just play with this mini, maybe you have another set that's missing some that could be replacement. But the tin can itself could be used, you know, for to hold pictures or postcards or sewing stuff. Three dollars can and dominoes. Or I have one dollar simple desserts. It's gonna make me hungry. Simply desserts. 
Let's see what we can find for the first dessert here. Peach crumble. That sounds good. It is in like new condition. I had two on it, but I marked it to everything's a dollar books today. So let's take that off of there. Anyway, so now simply desserts are the dominoes for three. Thank you. All right. And here's me. So I see Susan for one for the dessert cookbook. Heather got the worst Heather. hair of her life, and she's been crying like a baby. She had beautiful long hair, too. It's because it was beautifully long. She shouldn't have went and got a cut. Oh, yeah. What the heck? Come by and let me see. Long hair pe pe people, we always regret okay. that. I know. So, Sue, I got you for the dessert book. Thank you. And, Fairy, thank you for asking about it, Hannah. That's really sweet. I always worry about her. She's yes. always on my mind, too. And I know Teresa's always worried about her. Yeah. Okay, so I've got these vintage playing cards, and they're like a travel like souvenir. And they're from Hilo. It says Hilo Haiti. And they're hawaiian themed they're in the plastic case uh have five dollars on it let's see if i can open the plastic case oh. and they're still sealed and like that's what the joker looks like he's a little samoan guy with the fire and it says city sites hawaii and i can't i don't want to open it to see if they're you know all different but it is a pretty cool deck and don't see a year on it but there's that. And then I still have my poker book, Beyond Tales, Power Poker Psychology. And it helps you to read other people, not just a poker book. Kind of a cool book. And it is a dollar start as well, if anybody's interested in that. And I will write that in. So that was five for the cards. And one dollar starting bid poker book, and that's my two. Got Dolores in for the poker book. Thank you, Dolores. Dolores. Oh my God, Jonathan. Oh my God. Here is Teresa. Here is Teresa. I uh have. -huh. I don't know what I was still thinking about what they were saying. I have two handkerchiefs. I'll start with one. A Victorian embroidery handkerchief. I'm going to ask $3 for both of them together. Get both of them for $3. Every lady needs a handkerchief. They are very pretty for decor. You know, two on the table and draped over something. Next, I have a Will of Fortune collectible cookbook. And it has cool because the names of the recipes are in the little Will of Fortune blocks. Oh, I have Sue for the hank. Thank you, Sue. We have a lot of dark tastes, a lot of like I see. Okay, I got Sue for the hankies. Then I had the one dollar cookbook and it has a lot of good recipes in it. And it does have some little um interviews and things with like Vanna and stuff in here. So you get more than just the cookbook. Okay, and Dolores. Okay, that's my two. Thank y'all. Jonathan singing um Lady Gaga over there. That's funny. Okay, y'all so, distract. You know, I'm very easily distracted. You know, like squirrels. <laughs> very easy. Me too. I think we all are. I don't know. I think we're evolving to be easily distracted as a species. So next up, I have my Jasco pet. It is very vintage. He's filled with sawdust. He does have a bandage on his leg, so I assume he had, you know, a bobo, and they had to cover it up. And he's wearing his little hat and his little, um, oh, sorry, Bo's probably hearing me, huh? His little ears are poking <laughs> out. 
And he's a very pretty, like, greenish blue color. And he's yellow with pink flowers. And he's got a yarn tail. And he stands up on his own. And he's going to be $15. And that's that little dude. Look his smile. I love these pets. Okay. You look, look squirrel. Oh. I was saying you look like a squirrel. I was going to be like, you look like a squirrel. $15 starting bang. <laughs> Pony. Jasco <laughs> pet. Ah, my C button. Okay. Sorry. And then my next item is going to be a book. And let's see what this book's going to be. Oh, this is a good book. I also read this in middle school, even though like you could read this at a younger age, I think, if your kid's not too freaked out by things. They're not that scary, but it's it. More Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark by Alvin Schwartz. That's right, Eddie, roll tide. And it is $1. It's a $1 start. I probably lose like potential subscribers every day when I say that. People have strong feelings about the Crimson Tide. And it's got bo uh, books. It's got pictures and um, just short, scary stories throughout it. I think they recently did the movie. I say recently. It could have been like two years ago. And I'm trying to see the copyright on this. And there is no date. Oh, here it is. 1984. And for the guys, the first scary story was which I think is kind of funny. Anyway, $1 starting bid, scary stories just tell in the dark. And that's my poop. Here it is. And Teresa's got to get the door. She'll be right back. Eddie, you should have bought that wedding cake platter if you're one hour away from, from Tuscaloosa. We could have ate our wedding cake out of that. Okay. Next up, I'm going to show this very pretty ice bucket. It's lacquer. It is got these little flowers. They look like they're growing on mahogany. And it's got some black areas. And it's marked Toyo Japan. And it's, it's um, flower on the top is really cute, too. And it has a wooden handle, and it's a $20 start for this ice bucket. I also think it would make a nice little bedside trash can for, like, your post-it notes or your tissues or whatever, and then you could just go dump it. What did I sell, Eddie? Yeah, I sold it. Yeah, I sold it. It's going to um, Sugar Plum Fairy. Yeah. And she's really excited about it, too, let me tell you. So there's that. It's $20. Maybe she'll let us borrow it for the wedding. I don't know. This next... Oh, my God. Don't do it to me. No. This next book is Stephen King. I sell these all day for $10 plus online at on eBay. But this is... Um, everything's eventual. It's 14 dark tales. I'm not, I'm not fairy. You claimed it. I know you're serious about that cake plate. 14 dark tales. So they're going to be short stories. And if you know anything about Stephen King, he's very long winded and very descriptive. It's like, get, get with it, dude. And this is going to be a dollar start. And it is called Everything's Eventual, 14 Dark Tales. And I'm just going to put SK for Stephen King. Like, when I first started reading Stephen King, he'd be like, The night smelt like this, and the air felt like this, and the road looked like this. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. I, I can't handle it. Um, and so there's my book. I also... Teresa's back! Okay, I see Dolores is in for $2 on Stephen King. <laughs> Eddie. Eddie's talking about the wedding cake stand. 
And here's Teresa. <laughs> You know, as a mama, I'm trying to be tough and not squall when my girls are squalling. But her hair is absolutely gorgeous. It's summertime. It's beautiful. She just had long hair and she got it cut. She wanted it to the shoulder. They cut it a little But it is absolutely gorgeous. She's just got to get used to it. But she oh, is so right. upset. Oh, Heather. I put it down over there. I done showed it before, but I'll show it again. I love you, and oh my gosh, she's devastated. I can't hold it. Oh, I'm no, sorry, y'all. I mean, I love short hair. Like, I used to rock short hair all the time, but it just takes so long to grow it back. That's why I quit cutting it, but it'll grow back. It'll grow back a lot faster and prettier. I told and, that. Yeah. I'm trying not to cut. Mm. Let me show the books first. I know it. I know it might seem silly to sell magazines, but I see people doing it all the time. I'm going to do two two of these books for a dollar. They're Rachel Ray every day. This one, um, let me tell you the dates on them. I'm trying not to think about the child screaming, crying out there. March and June 2019. They are in very, very good condition. And even if you do like, you know, the scrapbook, junk journaling or whatever so you get two of them for a dollar heart hurts when they cry i'm a hush about that i have these two candlestick holders seven dollars they're in perfect condition they are a yellow blue and pink they're not vintage they're more contemporary but they're made to look kind of vintage they are pretty he said I seven need to measure them. They're not. Yes, they're nine, about almost nine inches tall. That's what was wrong with me a while ago. I was blanking. She was texting. Ugh. Anyway, I said I was gonna hush, but I ain't. So Sue wants the magazines of Rachel Ray. Yes, I do believe that's what that means. Okay. And I know, I know if y'all have kids or family or whatever, y'all understand, but. I'm very soft hearted and on a really good day. So, That's Rachel Ray. Oh, bless her heart. She said she was the only one in the salon. She thought she and her child has seen her stuff tonight and she thought she'd ease in there and get a perfect haircut. I don't know that anything would have been perfect. She's got so much stress on her right now, y'all. Right. Just pray for her. Yeah. She's standing by a sick child and there ain't nothing right in her world right now. But seven for these, if you're interested in them. And I sold the Rachel Ray. Thank y'all so much. Thank you for being sweet and understanding while I have my little mental breakdown. Aw. No, I feel her. Sometimes it's just like you've got so much pressure on you. And then when you have one more thing on top of it, you just break. You like, you, you do. lose. You do. You do. You do. I'm going to grab oh. something. I'll be right back. I think I had gotten this for somebody special who was in the chat, but I don't know if he's still here. And it's Strangers by Dean R. Koontz. And it's like a mystery detective type novel. It's pretty old. Um, they have the book sleeve about the author. It's called Strangers. Oh my gosh. And it says mine all mine and it has the person's name on that sticker. Why would you do that and then give it away? Copyright 1986 and it is a dollar start. One dollar starting bid. Dean Coots. And it has a, a motel on it, so it's probably something to do with the motel. One starting bid book. Okay. And then for my heart good, I have this McCoy large vessel. And it's got that um, brown drip glaze. It's very pretty. And it's got a little place where you can set your thumb and hold it. So very cool. And I had it marked at 15. I can go down to 13 today. It is a uh, McCoy. And the market's fluctuating. I know McCoy like dropped. So it's good to pick up McCoy right now while you can, while the price is low, because McCoy can cost a lot of money. 
I don't know if the price has gone back up yet or not. But that is $13. And here is Teresa. I want to show y'all our little heart that we are all praying for. And we appreciate the prayers. I'm going to try to show it to y'all. Y'all can see it, actually. She's this so is her. pretty. She'll be, she is a beautiful, beautiful girl. She'll be graduating this weekend. This next weekend. Tell them how old she so is. She's 16 years old, and she's already enrolled in some college classes with her condition. She is a fighter, a trooper. She really is. She's a trooper. 16 years old. Okay, moving on, Grandma. <laughs> Give me goosebumps and I'm about to cry. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her. Yeah, thank you. I have this solid glass bear. Paperweight. I have it for 15 It does have some bubbles in it back here. It's, you know, made in the glass. Doesn't have any chips or cracks or breaks. It'll stand up this way. Or it'll lay down this way. Either way you want to. I had it in the window like this and it was really reflective. It's very thick. It's it's almost it's it's like a pound and a half weight I was yesterday. It does have uh the sticker still on it. Then I have an oh no, another senior moment book for a dollar. It is brand new, inspired by faith. That's the UPC. I guess it's the thing, barcode. It is, it's really still stiff. It's never even been opened hardly, I don't think. One dollar. So that's my two. The paperweight or the book. Thank you. So if any of you guys have an interest in either of those, you know, senior moments is going to be funny. Okay. So there was Dean Koontz. Uh, oh, I have this Drew Pet. He's a very um, funny looking raccoon. You know, he's got some wear to him because he's super old. He's missing part of an eye. So I say he's got cataracts. His tongue's hanging out his mouth. He's got like little orange hairs under his hat and a little tear up there you know he's got some condition issues but he's not leaking the sawdust which is good and he's got like a little wire tail tail don't ask me why they made him brown and a little green jacket and he is going to be a 15 dollars start and i see that sue is in for the senior moments book $15 starting bid raccoon. That's Thank good. you. Hey, Dean. How you doing, Buck? Okay. Oh, Laura. You missed the French Bulldog. He's still available. <laughs> Maybe I'll stick him in your Laura. Okay. And then I have, again, this was like required reading for us in middle school. It is a good book. It is A Brave New World by Adolf Huxley. Um, he, he was born in Surrey, England in 1894 and died in 1963. And he was a really smart guy. Um I guess he knew like the unintended consequences of like technology and governmental overreach and things like that. It's really cool. It's a really, it's sci-fi and stuff like that, but it's a dollar start. And here is Miss Teresa. Well, Dean, I'm glad you wake up. Teresa. Well, Dean, that was fast. I have two Southern Living magazines for a dollar. Ooh, doesn't that food look good? I must be getting hungry. It's getting lunchtime. You can have both of those for a dollar if you're interested in Southern Living. And they are 2017, January, and June. And again, you can do, you know, crafts with them and stuff like that. 
And then for a dollar, I had this little candle holder, it, metal. I had two on it, but I'm marking it to a dollar. But it's really cute, a little springy. It's very lightweight. It's one dollar candle holder or two Southern Living books for a dollar. Thank you. My keys are starting to fall off my laptop. <laughs> it's starting to look funny. Okay. This is going to be my last time showing this one, I think. he's Because I love it. And I think it looked good. And I don't know. Like, the home sweet home part is probably hand done. That's not my favorite part about it. But I do love the fact that it has little shutters and a mirror. And it's got a little place where you can... You know display things and hang it on your wall to keep your surfaces clear this was a handmade piece it does have two little metal hangers on the back and somebody put some like i don't know medical tape or something on there to hold it hold the mirror in i do believe and then there's little finishing nails and screws and it's an adorable piece and there's that and that I am asking thirteen dollars. Thirteen starting bid shelf thing. And I did run across a lot of shelves. So if y'all have a certain style y'all like, I found some at a decent price. And then my book is going to be. Let's pull these bad boys out. Some more sci-fi by Anne McCaffrey. It's called Damien's Children. And there's Damia and there's the kids. <laughs> and she's got a giant cat sitting next to her and she's in some kind of spaceship. And as you can see, there's some kind of space thing going on in the background. So it's another sci-fi mystery. I don't know if it's a mystery, but a sci-fi book. And again, there's the author. And this is going to be $1 start. And if you're interested in her books, I've got a whole collection. And, well, book, I'm just going to say book, $1 starting bid sci-fi. <laughs> hey, and here's Teresa. Oh, and I got Dolores for the show. Thank you, Dolores. Sad to see it go. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, Laura. My dad built this house back in about 1983-ish. It was for my grandparents, and when they passed, I bought it. It is made to look kind of like a log cabin. But anyway, it's home. I like it. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm going to do all four of these magazines. There's two in say. They're kind of thin and too good housekeeping. I'm going to do all four for a dollar. And they're two from June 2020. And then one was December 2019. And I don't even see it. Day. Anyway, they're in the last couple of years. But again, they're, you know, if you're doing any kind of journaling or anything, it's, you can you know, use these books really. Cut them out and do things. Cards, decoupage, junk journaling. Anyway, that's four of these magazines for a dollar. Then I'm going to try this plate again. I have five on it. I'll mark it to three. It is a red and white seahorse. So it would be like for the beachy scene. You could put stones on it. Um, it says it's earthware, dishware, microwave safe, American. I can't really tell what else that says. But I had five, and I'm going to mark it to three. And this will probably be the last time I show it, too. Be pretty in a stand. Like if you do this in a room, you could, you know, decorate with it. Or you okay. can eat off of it. It's food safe. It's um, Roll Tide colors, Eddie. Oh. Your plate. And how much were your magazines? A dollar. Four for a dollar. Four for a dollar. Yeah, the books are on. But it's four of them because they're a little bit thinner. Um, 
beautiful plate. Okay. Thank you. Then we're going to start back showing what we've shown. So, is that where you want to okay. do? We can do that. Um, it's just up to you. Whatever you want to do. It's massive. Okay. So, I have these books. They're all for a dollar. Um, just type the name of the one if you're interested in it. These are still available. I have more scary stories to tell in the dark. Damien's Children. A Brave New World by Adolf Huxley. Strangers by Dean Koontz. Animal Farm by George Orwell. Freedom Challenge, Freedom's Challenge by Anne McCaffrey. Uh, Karen's Kitty Cat Club. The Babysitter's Club thing. This is the house where Jack lives. It's from the 60s. It's got really cool illustrations. Panda Cake. Uh, I forgot what year it's from, but it's old. And a dog bit the back. But it's a really pretty book. It has really cool illustrations. Um, I have Thornton the Warrior. And I have Happy Birthday Moon. Let's see. And I don't think I showed those two books. So that was my books that pa got passed on. If anybody's interested in those, they're all a dollar each. And then I had... It's earlier than I thought it was, Lucy, Keep, if you want to. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't running you over. No, you're good. Um, let's see. And I have $10 on the Andrea by Sadiq plate. It's got raised and it's texturized and it's got gold gilding around the rim. And for decorative use only. It's got a little sticker on there. And that's $10. And then I have these, and they're two for 14. Andrea by Sadiq plates. They have wall hangers, and they're two little birds. I want them to look at each other. How do I do this? Not going to happen. Two for 14. And they're very texturized as well. Again, Andrea by Sadiq. This is the Snowbird collection. And there's the backs. backs. And there's that one. And there's this little bitty. Like, it's it's got wear to the paint. I can't even feel it when I run my finger over it, but I think it's probably from the plate hanger, this little spot here. And then Dean's got a question for you in chat. And then... Oh, I've got books above. Animal Farm. Thank you. I always need somebody to watch because I can never pay attention. Okay. Let me set these down. Um, Animal Farm, Happy Birthday Moon, and the Dean Koontz one. Okay. You remember the Happy Birthday Moons, Laura? Where did Animal Farm and Dean Koontz go? Okay. Got you for those, and I thank you very much. And here is Teresa. I am checking it. I don't see it, but I am looking now. It's not showing, but I will further investigate it and email you and make sure you have done that. So it wouldn't be good. Okay, I have uh, for $7 an open cookie maker, Pillsbury, gun, shooter, whatever you want to call it. It has all the different ways to make different kinds of cookies to be fun with children or if you're like me and just don't want to look full this would be a nice way to just get them done okay that was seven and also for seven i have this antique ashtray not a vintage might be antique and it does have one little spot you can't see from the top but i dinged it last night you could just paint it i guess maybe 
Christy's back. Okay, well, we're just kind of going over this. Three dollars. I have the grandma's our happiness you can hug, and it is a cross stitched in a plastic to made to look vintage frame. It is in very good condition. Somebody did a lot of work put it in it and put it in frame. For three dollars, I have the restaurant wear. Okay, um, Maury, I have you for the uh, ashtray. Thank you. Thank you. Let me write that down right now. So I have a lot of senior moments. Okay. I have the top hat, bent milk glass, $10. Thank you, Lori. Again, this would be pretty with your, you can do it like this, with your 4th of July decor, or any of it really, but I want to really say nice. it's Joanne. Joanne Baber might be looking for that, or Terry Sarsanella. One Maybe. of those. Two. Then Someone I had this for a dollar. Oh, ten dollars. Ten. We're, we're just reshowing stuff, so I'm kind of going fast with it. Another senior moment book for a dollar. Jesus book for a dollar. A hurricane, about a hurricane book for a dollar. Disney Descendants for one dollar. Says it goes for uh, ten ninety nine normally. Then I have the oil painting book for a dollar. Might be something Laura's interested in. I don't know. Has all kind of different ways and things about painting. Sketching. You may not need it if you're an artist. I couldn't. I couldn't follow the directions to be one. Then I have books um, for a dollar. Two more of them. Meat dishes. And then the flames of Rome. It's a very good condition. This book isn't very. It's very pretty. The decor, even like it is. And then what else is? Oh, the table butler. Which my cousin uh, says looks like a bed warmer, but it's not. It's a table butler. You, they swept off the crumbs, the ashes. It's in very good condition. I have twenty dollars on it. They um, sell for much more than that on eBay. Dean wants the senior moments book. Okay, and thank you, her. thank you, Dean. And Dean. to Bezio. Uh, Wants the meat dishes cookbook. Senior, right there. The other senior one, okay. Yeah, the one you just showed. Right, okay. All right, um, I just showed this, but I'll show it again. $15 for the paperweight. That might have been everything I showed. Do you want to keep showing stuff or do you? It's up to you, Liz. We recapped. Now we can do whatever you want to do. I'm surprised you were recapping this early. That's why I was very surprised. That's my fault. I thought it was later. Okay. We can I'm keep on going and do it. I found some more stuff that I forgot to reshow. But also, if you have more books, we can just like, read them out and do what we just did with them. Oh, and want to. Okay. oh James asking if you can hold the book, Teresa, for him. Yes, sure. Okay. Um. This is a. French Bulldog or a Boston Terrier, but I think he's a Frenchie and he's wearing a sweater. And I marked him down to five. So all these things I'm about to show you are five dollars. Um, I had the Hawaii playing cards, the souvenir cards. So just type the name of the item you'd like. Might make it easier. And then this is the Kent All Plastic Double Deck. And it is $5. And it's got two different scenes on it. 
And then I have the coil plastic coated pinochle, it says uh, on the thing. It's got a blue deck and a red deck, and it's like a floral bird looking type of deal. Um, and it's by Hoyle, and they're plastic coated. So those are the good kind of cards, and that's all $5. And then I had this little guy, and he's a single shaker. He could be used for all-purpose seasoning and whatever else. He is in the shape of a jug, and he has a beard going between his legs. His beard is so long. And he's fishing with his little dog and his little bamboo post, and he does have a chip in him. He is really old, and he's five dollars. I feel like I'm doing a subway commercial. Five dollars, five dollar foot longs. Oh, and then my McCoy pieces. This one I had at thirteen, and I marked it down to ten. Um, Maury wanted the jug, please. Okay, jug. let me write that down before I have a senior moment. Maury. Thank you, Maury. And then, so, like I said, I have this McCoy piece. I marked it down to 10. It's like a gravy boat. It's like that Franciscan ivy look, and it's got a twig for a handle. It's embossed. $5 shaker jug. Okay. And then, and then this is also McCoy. It is very large. It is like a liquid server of some sort, maybe like hot cocoa or something. I had it at 15. I marked it to 13. And it's embossed on the bottom, just like the other one. And it's got a little place for your thumb, so it makes it easier to pour and keep control of it. And if you got fat hands, it even has a rest for your finger, like if you're a man. And I forgot to re-show some more stuff, but I'm going to put Teresa up there and let her show some things. I found a couple things I didn't re-show, too. I had this odds vitamin C for $1. Okay. And had the ephemera. Tell me to wait. I had the ephemera for five dollars. Oh, I'll mark it to three dollars, so please. Oh, I love I'm sorry. This is stuff I've already shown. It's okay. I think somebody's out of door. Okay, I, I think somebody's out of door. The other dog is here. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I didn't close it when my daughter she didn't close it. I'll mark this ephemera to three. It's the two packs of napkins, the two packs of the white doilies, and then this vintage paper. Anybody's interested in it? I'll mark it to three. And then the dominoes with the tin box and missing three dominoes from what I counted. I have three dollars on them. And then I had just showed these for seven candlesticks. Those are gorgeous. And that's all my re-shows. Re can start over with some books. Like I said, be good. Thank you. Okay. So, what did I forget to show you? This is one of my firm items I'm never going down on. Just a heads up. It's fifteen dollars. It's my um, brass box with the bird box and the, the bird and the, um, art on the side there. And then and then it has. Let me mute you guys because I hear myself echoing. It's my fault. This is the divider on the inside beautiful the prettiest tin i've ever seen in my life but it's not actually tin so that's probably why i have the 20 dollar ice bucket i could do like 18 on if someone's interested in that um what else did i not 
Did I reshow the raccoon? No, I don't think so. Did I? Can't remember now what I reshowed. And I have this powder shaker. And it is like um, got a little twisty top with little parts to keep it stuck in there. So you stick it in its slots and you turn it. And it's gorgeous. And it's got Moriyagi and filigree and all kinds of stuff. And you can just shake your powder out of it and leave this on your vanity. And this is going to be $13. Let's get the extra. Oh, Dean says it was another seller he paid twice, not you. Um, Teresa. And then I have the $8 um, old pottery creamer from the Robeolo estate in Pagoria. Or Pagora. And it's the Maison de Candido. And it's an $8. And I think that's everything that I showed. Okay. Now here's Teresa. And we do some more books. Or whatever. You're mute. I muted you. That's my fault. Okay. Okay. One marriage under God. It is a little, you can journal in here. It's $1, it's hardback, it is brand new. Okay, then I have a Betty Crocker pot pies, casseroles, one dish cookbook. I know I did sell some like this already, but this is some more, I got a bunch. It is a large book, well worth the dollar, hardback. 325 comfort food recipes, breakfast, from breakfast to desserts. Okay, that's my two books. Okay, Sue, I got you for Betty. Betty Crocker. And I can send these through media mail and they won't cost that much. Because I put them in y'all's boxes and weigh a lot. All right, you guys. So I have some golden books. And they're not like in collectible shape. Like they're well loved. They're not in terrible shape either but they're a dollar each just type the name of the book you'd like in the chat and i'll set it aside for you this is hansel and gretel this is toy story three we have mickey's christmas carol we have tweety plays catch the putty cat oh, i'm doing a bad showing job i'm sorry we have cars and trucks. I think this one's in the roughest shape, if I remember right. Uh, yeah, there's a kid that colored in there on a couple pages, but it's really old. This is Minnie, This Little Piggy by Disney Junior. This is like a newer one. And then we have the Christmas tree that grew. And from the way those kids are dressed, I'm saying thinking late 80s, early 90s. <laughs> and there's those. So if you're interested in any of them, they're a dollar a piece. Just type the title in the chat and I will set it aside for you. Here's Teresa. Okay, I have five ingredient, 15 minute cookbook, Cooking Light. It is hardback book. It is large book. Oh, I, the door's not shut. He's going to bark at everything that goes by. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> He's fine. It doesn't usually bark long. You say that he will. Hey, hey, it's okay. 
Nice. Uh, who had this, the Betty Crocker cookbook? Because Sue wanted that. Sue, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so this one. And next is the Hungry Girl Diet that I need. It's in good condition, too. A lot of food for a hungry girl. You take the cover off, so see what it. Oh, it's blue. There you go with your patriotic colors. Oh. That's probably all I do with it. Decorate with the blue book. Anyway, one dollar. Choice of the books. Thank you. I don't know what they're doing outside. Oh, I hear is beeping. Okay. This is Underworld London Crime and Punishment in the Capital City. It's a history of British crimes to chill the blood. And it's a one dollar. And it says from the cut purse to the craze. And I have no idea what that would mean. But it seems like a pretty cool book. And then it's got one dog eared page. And that's about the only issue. And in this one, it's got like a very worn cover, um, and it is a big book. It's called the Northern Anthology of English Literature, 4th edition, and it's just got a bunch of like short stories and poetry that, you know, they want college kids to learn, basically. So used, it was $22.50. That was when it was used, and I don't know how much it was new, but... There's that book, and that's my two. How much was the last one? They're all they're all a dollar. Thank you, Christy. Um, I might be interested in the Underworld London and the anthology of literature. Good. I need more stuff for your box. Okay. Okay, I have Linda Evans, Recipe for Life, My Memories, and this 2019 edition. No, I'm sorry, 2011. And it's stories about her. It's our memories of life. It has a lot of different pictures and things that she's done. For the noise, one dollar. Then next is a deluxe bread and dough maker book. It has recipes about how to make breads, different breads, cheddar cheese breads, different breads. And it is a sunbeam. One dollar, your choice. Linda or the bread or both. Thank you. I'm coming. I'm grabbing more books. And I'm a hobble over. Do what? I'm Do one more book? Books. You can keep showing if you got more. I got tons. Uh, Sleep in Peace Tonight, a novel. And it's like new also. And that's what color it is. We're going to have the decor. Oh, it'll be good for fall time. You can stack items on them. Read them and use them for decor. Then one more. I have a Reader's Digest One Dish Meals. The easy way to do one pot, one dish meals. Over 400 delicious all in one meal meal. It's a hardback book. Oh, my dog is going to eat it. I don't know what's his problem today. Okay. I showed four. You show stuff while I hobble over and shut the door. Maybe I'll hush. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Um. He's right here. And I don't know if he's meant to be a spoon rest or a trinket dish, but he's super cute. Like, I don't see the cradle for the spoon, and his nose is kind of up, so 
probably a trinket dish, but it does say dishwasher and microwave safe. So I don't That's know. That's why I'm thinking center of a stove. Yeah. You also put your spoon. But no telling. But and then I, I have... Know. Okay. And so for my books, these are all by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. This is some sci-fi Christian books, I believe, even though they have crazy titles. This is called Antichrist Takes the Throne, Desecration. And then I have, by the same author, Left Behind. And that is a novel of the Earth's last days. We have Soul Harvest. The World Takes Sides. The Rise of Antichrist, Nicolay. And Assassins. Over 15 million copies sold. So these are not rare books, but... They have a lot. And so in total, I have one, two, three, four, five of these um, books. I see one says one, three, and four. And I don't know where. Oh, there's six. And continue um, on the left behind. So this must be five. So one through six, but it's missing two. And they're all a dollar each. Oh, okay. So that was like a set, but it was a dollar each. Yeah, I mean, if they want those, that they can. But it's a dollar each. Um, Teresa Sue said she wants that Linda Evans book and the bread book. And what was the other one, Sue? Mm. Betty Crocker, I see. I see. Um, I have it for meat, Betty Crocker, bread, Linda, and, and desserts and pepper chip. And one pour, it says one P-O-R. I'm not sure what that means. Good night, Pat. Thank you for hanging out with us. It's always great to see you here. Maybe the one dish. Maybe so. That's the last one I showed. Oh, why am I big right now? Here are you. Um, is this one it? Let me know. That's the last one. And I'm sorry, I have to hobble over on my right foot and close the door. At least he hushed. Let me know if that was right or not. Okay. And now I have somebody here. Are you kidding me? I never have anybody what here. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, retirement is for the birds. And um it looks to me, I don't know if it was if it come like this, got like little spots on the outside. It's new otherwise. I don't know what that's all about. That that's just somebody stopping up that they went on. Uh, retirement is for the birds uh, from the author of Old Age is for Sissies. One pot, yeah. One pot? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, got you. One pot. Got it. Okay, so that was that one. A 52-week demo devotion of miracles. It's like a brand new little book, too. Be changed by the power of God's miracles. It's hardback. And yeah, that's my two. Oh, I'm coming. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, next I have another one by Dean Coots. Coots and it's called The Voice of the Night. And it has a lady's name in it and the date she completed reading the book, which was 1991 on September 21st. And it's got like a little train on the cover. I've never read it. Um, it's a hair, hair raising from cover to cover. 
a novel of adolescent evil and knee-knocking suspense. A gripping thriller with a chilling climax. Okay, so Dean Koontz, you can never go wrong with him. And then I have another Anne McCaffrey book, The Rowan. I think this is the first part of the other one I showed. And there's that lady again sitting in her chair. And that's a dollar as well. And that's my two. That was quick. <laughs> okay, I have daily uh, guide posts. It's 1999, but it's a, every calendar year. You could use it, you know, now and read. It has inspirational um, little, like it'll say January 24th. Learn how the fire station down the street looks. That's just a little daily read, but it's not by guidepost. Okay, then I have two children's books that I'm going to do for a dollar because they just have a couple of pages in them. They're new, but they're just very, very thin, kind of go together. One's about a giraffe and one's about a zebra. They just have a couple of little pages in them. Tails. Got some. Since they're so thin, I'm going to do both of them for a dollar. With the kids' books or the guidepost books. Book. Aww. Okay, these are the only two I think that aren't by Anne McCaffrey besides my Clive Barker book, which is Living Here Forever. This I really wanted to read, but I hadn't gotten around to it. It is uh, Finding Moon by Tony Pillerman. And he's a national bestseller of Sacred Clowns. And I do believe it's like a horror novel or, you know, something along those lines. Because there'd be, that's what I'm into is like suspenseful type of stuff. And it says a book. As full of kindness, love, and compassion as it is full of murder, sadness, and mystery. And that's by the Chicago Tribune saying that. And it's a hardback and has its sleeve and a like map on the inside of the cover. And here is the music of the spheres. Praise for the music of the spheres. And it's intricately plotted and beautifully placed. And it's by Martha Grimes. And people said the novel was unput put downable. And that's a dollar as well. And I think we are getting towards the end here. We've got like three minutes left. So if there's anything y'all would like to see, just let us know in the chat. I'm going to put us all up here on the screen. We can chit chat a little. Hey, Caroline. This was a great morning. I'm glad I had y'all because I would have had a breakdown about Heather crying. So now I can just look back on it and not cry. So <laughs> I'm sad that she's sad, but. I don't have it all was great these, to have these scary <laughs> sounding books. These are Christian books. Antichrist, Soul Harvest, the other Antichrist. Pick it on me, Lucy. They all are Christian she's books. She's just <laughs> I know she's picking on me. I do like horror, though. Um, so, nobody's looking for anything in particular while we're over the weekend. We can find right, it in so our we can meet. pull it out for you. I hate to bore y'all with the books. I love books myself, but that when I get a donation, usually at least 80% of it's books. I have thousands of books, so it'd be awesome to sell them, even a dollar a piece. Yeah. If you have a particular kind of book, read, let me know. I may have it. And we do still have our Hope for Hannah t-shirts. Um, yes, we do. I, have only, I only have XLs right now. Mm -hmm. But that's a general size a lot of people like. $15. Nope. Nope. Let me $15. Right. Extra large keys. And that's Hope for Hannah. Hope for, for Hannah. Hannah. I, have about, I have three or four of them left. Extra large. You're good, Christy. 
Thank y'all. And thank you. I mean, I cherish your prayers more than I do you even purchasing anything. More you want a t-shirt? Okay. It helps remind us to pray too. Yeah. So that's good. Okay, Maury, I have you for a t-shirt. Thank you, Dolores. It, we're so glad to have met you, and I'm glad you found us, and I hope to see you in the mornings. We, we run Monday through Friday, and again, we're alternating channels now. So Monday, we're going to be on Teresa's channel, <laughs> and there's the link. Go over there and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And um, Tuesday, we'll be back on my channel at the same time, always the same time, Monday through Friday. And we're going to have Jane Newhouse from Doggone Happy Vintage. I'm hey. sorry, I'm looking up there by herself. She's going to be, um, that's a bad yeah, view. Come up here with me. There we go. He has, um, I forgot the point I was going to make. But she's an awesome lady. She has really great stuff. She's like Teresa. She can go in and, and you know, in her house and find all kinds of stuff. Uh, this is all stuff time. that's been in my house. Uh, Teresa, Laura wants to know what size and how many do you have of this piece? And they're men's right ladies. now. All I have in stock. Oh, they're unisex shirts. Um. Right now, I only have two extra larges right here. I could check and see what Heather has. Um, I do have one 3X that had nobody uh, claimed. It was somebody from out and about, not on here. And so I do have one 3X. They never came and got it. So in two extra large. And they're unisex. Well, Dolores, it sounds like you're at a good place if you're addicted to books. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. And Did that answer was, your question, Laura? Sue was asking, do you have any safety pin threaded dolls? Safety pin thread, great, great. I, know, I, I got some made with buttons. I'll have to look and see what I have. Yeah, go back and watch it. Apparently, yeah, I exactly. missed you. I exactly. just looked. You have, sorry. No, you're good. If you have lag, which is notorious, YouTube is notorious for lag. If you have lag, just go back and watch the video and whatever nobody claims, just go ahead and message these ladies. And their emails are right up there by their faces. So just go ahead and do that. And also don't forget to go and check out Christy and Teresa's eBay store. Don't go look in mine because everything's probably sold and I need to take it out of there. <laughs> But all the links are in the description. That's Bobo, our mascot. Laura would like one of those extra large teas and that butter dish, Teresa. Oh, okay. Got you. And thank you, Maury, for calling that to our attention. And, yeah, be sure to go and check out Chrissy's stuff because she does a lot for all of us. And the day she, she tells does. me she's ready to sell, I'm going to put her up here and she's going to sell with us. Okay. I'm and, willing to sell, but not show my face. And then she's gonna we're gonna convince her to show her beautiful freaking face because I've seen I said it. that it, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. She yeah. is. And her voice is so sweet and she's got lots of good things. I bought from her on, on her eBay store. She's got lots of things. Chris Christy, you need to do the opposite of me right now. I should have my camera up high. We look better when the camera's up high. Okay. Oh, All right. Maybe I'll try that. Okay. She didn't mean breaded. She wanted that beaded doll. Did I get one more sub? I'm at I'm at four fifty now. And Jonathan, he didn't want the Dean Coots books. That's who I bought him for. He just disappeared. <laughs> I know. I'm penalized. Fifteen yards. How do you find Christy Storgan? Okay, you go down in the description of the video, and there's a link to her eBay shop. Um, I still haven't put her link tree in there. I need to. She's also got Poshmark and Macari. I'm not sure if those are all down in there right now. But I do need to put the link tree. Remind me to do that. And, but yeah, just look in the description. Go subscribe to Jonathan. He'll be getting a channel soon. So check him out. And yes, subscribe to Jonathan. He's so sweet. And um, you can go to my YouTube, Fascinated Christy. 
and my about page has a link to all my stuff. Here. Awesome. And yeah, her page is linked down below too. So y'all go subscribe to her. She hasn't I, put up content, but she's got her details in there. I always forget that it's down there too, but yeah, I do have a few videos that oh, I did over a year ago, but it's like, I haven't done anything since COVID. Not because of COVID. I just haven't done anything because of COVID. <laughs> or since COVID. So yeah. Yeah. Some things back. Yeah. Well, I mean, that affected your life quite a bit. I was, you know, a hard time at COVID stuff. And then it's just been a prayers for everybody. That's all we can say. <laughs> and, and I hope y'all all have a wonderful, one, wonderful weekend. And I'm sorry for talking over. It's so easy to talk over people back yeah. here with the delay and thing. You wait mm -hmm. and then you still do it. But I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I can't wait to see you all on Monday again. On your channel. Teresa's oh, channel. Yeah, on my channel. Oh, y'all say a big prayer for me because y'all know I'll do all kind of crazy stuff. She's going to be putting but us I'm all big and we're going to be looking funny on there. It's Get gonna be it fun. ready for the ride on Monday. <laughs> we'll be back on Lucy on Tuesday, so just Monday. <laughs> And do, you, do we know who's coming on after us today? Um, or you don't know? I hadn't checked. Let me see who's live real quick so I can let Alex, you guys know. I think it may be Alex that does a little live. Like a, I know I'm she does sure. Sundays, but I think. Like a three yeah, or it might be. Thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, Oh, it so might be a threes company. So I'm going to drop their link down below. And y'all yeah, go yeah. visit them and tell them we I sent y'all. Yeah, it's her and her husband. And... um they do a great job he's been doing this a long time so you know trustworthy and all that good stuff and subscribe to laura too Hi. Yeah. okay bye thank you bye bye <laughs>